Hi everyone, today we will be creating a self-service action. So in previous videos we've talked about how to set up an action and what does an action contain and also what it can do. Today we will be creating an action but before we do that I want us to look at the complete end-to-end -end arch architecture and flow uh, from the moment you trigger an action all the way to the part where it reflects its status back to port. So the first step is after we create the action and the user sees the UI form, he will trigger the action with the provided inputs. Port will take those inputs and generate a payload from them. It will forward that payload to the selected uh, backend of your choosing. The backend will handle the business logic of the action as well as reflect the action progress, add logs, add links, and finally also set up a final status for the action as well as update the catalog about any changes that were made as part of this action. So now let's go and uh, see a demonstration of creating an action and triggering it. So in here uh, we're at my port and we have this deployment blueprint and we're gonna add a deploy new service action. So we're gonna go to the actions tab and click on new action. We're gonna use the, you're gonna create a deploy service action. Um, it's going to use GitHub. Uh, so let's give it an icon. And this is a create action because we're creating a new deployment. Uh, we also have day two and delete actions, which are meant to uh, act over an existing entity from the software catalog. So uh, this is the part where we add user inputs. So uh, in this case, I just want a service name input. So let's do service name. And I also want specific formatting uh, for a convention and standards. So it's going to be service name. Um, it is required and it's of type string. We're gonna go ahead and create that. We have that input and let's go forward to the backend Part of the action. So like I said, we're going to use uh, GitHub workflows. So let's select that. Uh, I already have a port GitHub app installed on my organization. Um, so I'm going to just start inputting the details. So it is port live webinar in the self service samples repository. And the workflow is simply called deploy.yml. Uh, I don't want it to report the workflow status in this instance because I am going to do that manually. Uh, and I don't want to um, uh, omit the user inputs, so I'm going to set that to false. And uh, you can see here uh, that I get a preview uh, of a sample workflow that can be used uh, for this type of action setup. So for example, you can see uh, we're talking about GitHub workflows. So this will be a workflow dispatch type workflow. And you can see here that we're getting the inputs and we're also getting ports payload, uh, which includes additional information, for example, uh, the run ID and some additional context, uh, which can be used uh, for the parts that we mentioned about reflecting the action progress, sending the logs and so on. Uh, and if we scroll a bit further down, we can see the exact uh, action payload that we talked about that port creates and then forwards to the backend. So this is the uh, part where we configure permissions for the action. And uh, in the meantime, uh, I don't want to do anything specific here. I, I for example, don't want to use manual approval um, in this instance. And uh, let's say for now that I want to give everyone access in the organization. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I can also uh, give the option to specific users or teams or the owners uh, of uh, services or deployments um, to uh, invoke the action. But for now, let's give everyone permissions. So we're gonna click on next. We have this new action created. Uh, and if we go to the self-service hub, then we can actually see it. We can also see a host of other actions that we have in our port deployment. Uh, and uh, let's call this new service docs demo. We're gonna create a new deploy deployment for it. And once we click on execute, uh, what you're going to see is that the action has been initiated uh, and you can also see here on the side panel the status of all of the running actions uh, and if I go to the page of the specific action then I can already see that the action is in progress 
I can view the payload of the action as it was sent to GitHub workflows in this instance. Um, I can also see the inputs that were brought in uh, and I receive a job link to the actual job in GitHub. Uh, for now, I can only see that the action has completed. Um, so you can see uh, the action sent some logs in. So it started the deployment of the new service and it was completed. Uh, and if I go to the affected entities tab, uh, then I can also actually see the changes in the catalog. So I can see that I have a new deployment for the docs demo service. Uh, and I can see the exact payload uh, of that new service that was created. Now, uh, what I want to do now is I want to go and actually take a look at how the action is working. Um, so it is a pretty simple action, uh, but it utilizes some specific things. Uh, for one, it is using ports on a GitHub action, which is a very convenient way to reflect that action progress to send the logs. So for example, you can see here uh, that I am just using it to send logs, uh, which is what we saw in the action run menu. Uh, and I am also using it uh, in this instance to create that new entity for that new deployment. Uh, and finally, I am using that action to actually report the status uh, of the action once it has completed successfully. Um, let's just uh, see, it's just a 60 line uh, YML file. It doesn't make any specific new usage or logic, just utilizes a lot of ports on a GitHub action, which makes it very simple uh, to integrate port uh, self-service actions with your uh, existing pipelines uh, when you're using either a uh, GitHub workflows uh, or your own CI CD, be it Jenkins or Circle or whatever CI that you're using, uh, and also any other backend that you might have. So that is a demonstration uh, of how to create and use uh, self-service actions. Um, this is meant as an example, and as you can see, Port provides a lot of help when setting up the action, when integrating with the backend. It gives you that example uh, workflow code. It gives you that payload uh, sample that will be sent to your backend and so on to make it very easy for you to get started and uh, moving quickly and integrating Port and using self-service actions uh, for your internal customers in your organization. Up next, we're gonna talk about how to set up a backend uh, in more of a deep dive uh, and see exactly what backends are supported and how do they function.